straight out of college, and on to the national team. Natalie Haglin has traded in her USC jersey for one that says USA. Haglin makes her rookie debut this season under the tutelage of 10-year veteran, fellow Trojan, and two-time Olympian Nicole Davis. And um, she kind of took me under her wing and has been teaching me an incredible amount about playing the game and the mental side of being a libero. Growing up, volleyball was always a huge part of Haglin's life. Uh, my mom would kind of, she wouldn't get a babysitter, she would just kind of go and play her morning volleyball and would sit me on the beach and just say, uh, you know, hang out, watch the volleyball. Um, so I was kind of inspired by my mom and her friends just going out to play for fun every morning. Along with volleyball, Haglin played other sports, some competitively. I played soccer for a really long time, um, and then I was a competitive surfer for a very long time as well, and um, until I was a junior in high school, I think and kind of had to stop competing because all the surf competitions and the volleyball competitions kind of overlapped. With so many options available to her, Natalie chose volleyball in college, and she landed a spot on USC's roster in what was a new discipline for her as a libero. I hadn't played the position um, before I went to USC. Uh, my coaches did a great job of you know, giving me confidence and you know, saying we understand you're learning the position, so don't get down on yourself. And um, I kind of took it as an opportunity to learn and. Um, to be something that I've never been before and um, to really run with it. After only playing the position for two seasons, Haglin became the first libero in USC history to earn first team All-American honors and was named Pac-12 Conference Libero of the Year. She continued to rack up accolades by receiving first team All-American honors her junior and senior year as well. You know, I'm kind of right back at the bottom of the totem pole trying to work my way back up and um, I'm trying to gain respect and um, you know, I'm kind of the youngster, so it's really hard to come in and, and try to, you know, play your best when you know that there's a lot of people that are way ahead of you in the game, and I'm still learning a ton compared to these girls. Being the new girl on the team doesn't seem to have an intimidating effect on Haglin, and her teammates have noticed. I love that girl, man. She she came in, my favorite story is she came in right from USC, like first day here, and was just like, hey, let's go, you take this tip, you take, you know, and she's a libero, so she runs the defense. She didn't care that it was her first day. She might have, but she didn't act like it. And I, as a teammate, just thought that was the coolest thing ever. And others see her as refreshing. And that just seems like a breath of fresh air for me. Um, and she's just going for it, which is how we want to play. We want to let it rip. And um, she's diving in head first and getting her, her hands dirty. Lots of them, including Natalie exemplify what it means to play a team sport and enjoy each other's, uh, enjoy this group striving to be the best it can be. Haglin says she looks forward to watching her fellow teammates play in the upcoming USA Volleyball Cup and hopes to make an appearance on the court as well. This is my first season with USA Volleyball and to be able to play in the United States against a team like Brazil or even watch the team, I, I don't know how much playing time I'm going to be getting, but um, like I said before, it's really cool knowing that I'm helping the girls train and I'm there to help them and to help them get better, and they're there to help me get better, so it'll be cool. I hope I'm out there. And when she's not on the court, Haglin's mind is on something or someone else. Um, well, I'm obsessed with Justin Bieber, so if he sees this, I hope he gives me a shout-out. I've tweeted at him like a million times, and he won't tweet me back. For the Pac-12, this is Jordan Young of the Cronkite Sports Bureau in Los Angeles.